Hey what's going on guys it's Bagas here and today we are once again gonna be reviewing another 3D documentary film so I guess you could call this the 3D mini saga of reviews. Anyways today we're gonna be reviewing C-Rex 3D. Yes I know there's a subtitle but I've literally never referred to it as that and for convenience sake I'm just gonna call it C-Rex. C-Rex 3D is another 40 minute long 3D documentary film starring the marine reptiles of the Mesozoic that takes us to the three different time periods of the Mesozoic, showcasing the dominant species of marine reptiles that lived in those time periods. The documentary also has scenes that show famous discoveries of marine reptiles alongside other science facts mixed in between. The film starts in 18th century France with the discovery of, back then, an unknown creature. It then jumps to the modern day in a museum where we meet Julie, basically the stand-in for the audience, and what I assume is the, well, whatever you want to interpret this as, of George Cuvier, the father of paleontology. We then get a really cool sequence of Earth's history, and to be thorough, I'm gonna break it down. It starts with this, I guess, time scale going back in time as we see how the Earth has changed over the millions of years before we get an illustration of the history of life using a 12 hour clock, which is honestly a really nice way of visualizing it. Then after that, we get a brief history of the Paleozoic before the Great Dying. After this, we get an explanation of the marine reptiles that ruled the three periods of the Mesozoic. Starting with the Triassic, we get a showcase of creatures like Tanistrophias, Nothosaurus, Mixosaurus and the largest of them all, a herd of Shonisaurus. Then in the Jurassic we get a brief overview of the creatures who live throughout the Jurassic before diving into the seas to witness the mating ritual of the Lyoplurodon, which ends with the male having one of his eyes accidentally wounded by the female. After that there's a hunt between the male and an Elasmosaurus, which ends with the male's neck being snapped by the tail of a Lysicthes. Lastly, in the Cretaceous there's a brief fight between a Prognathodon and a Cotoxyrhina, before we get the payoff to the scene at the beginning, with the unknown creature being described as a mosasaur by a young George Cuvier. The segment ends with the turtle being attacked by two sharks before they get chased off by a mosasaurus, as we witness the KT events through the jaws of a mosasaurus, which is honestly a really cool shot. The film ends with Julie walking out of the museum, passing a poster of George Cuvier honoring the father of paleontology. In conclusion, I think the best way to describe C-Rex is a visual experience. Unlike Sea Monsters, a prehistoric adventure, this film utilizes 3D graphics more, but like that film, it also manages to prevent them from being overly jarring. Also, by the way, I'm gonna be comparing the two a lot because they are very similar. The segments where we see the marine reptiles were alright, but nothing spectacular, as they were really meant more as a showcase of the creatures rather than telling an actual story. However, one thing that bothered me a bit was that Julie's level of intelligence kind of fluctuates a bit because sometimes she can appear like really stupid. And when did you say that happened? 65 million years ago. So then humans came right after that. But other times she knows facts like by the way, wasn't it a mosasaur that was found in a mine back in the 18th century? So, I don't know, it just kind of bothered me a bit, but in the grand scheme of things, it's really just a minor nitpick. So, overall, this film was alright as a whole. If you're looking for some visual candy featuring the marine reptiles, then this film should fill that itch for you. But if you're looking for some good storytelling, you're not really gonna find it here, but that's why you have sea monsters. And on its own, it does a good job at what it was going for, and it utilizes the media to great effect. And I suggest giving it a try and see how you like it, and you know, while it's not among my personal favorites, I still enjoyed it quite a bit. You know, do I even need to say it? I mean, you all know it's time to put it on the tier list, so quality-wise, I'd give it a 4. Uh, like I said, it's a great visual experience, but it doesn't really go beyond that. I mean, you do have the discoveries, but, you know, really, it's meant to show off the 3D graphics by, you know, through the lens of the Mesozoic Oceans, and, you know, the segments themselves don't really tell that much of a story, and, you know, that kind of subtracts points for me. Because I prefer if those segments actually told a somewhat complete story, because I think the only one we get where 
more than just a showcase is the live floor run hunt, but even then it's kind of cut off brief and it you know it's basically just an action scene. So that's why I gave it a four. Entertainment wise, I'd also give it a four. There's not a lot of action in it, so you know it's I don't know, it's not you know nowadays people define entertainment by how much action it is and you know there's not a lot of action aside from the live floor run hunt and you know that's why it's not as entertaining as like even even compared to sea monsters. But it does have some great visual sequences, just like the um, the time scale sequence. I'm just gonna call it time scale because it's the best way to um, to describe that. But other than that, you know, there's not really much. I mean, if you like you see the three graphics, you're you know you're gonna find it entertaining. But you know, if it's just something normal to you, then you might not find it as entertaining as others documentaries. Rewatchability, I'd give it a 4.8 because uh, like Sea Monsters is only 40 minutes but you know also kind of like Sea Monsters not as entertaining and so you might not um, find a reason to rewatch it again um, and you know even more so than uh, Sea Monsters because there's even less action here but yeah even though it's only 40 minutes I, I, I honestly don't think like if didn't enjoy it a lot the first time you're not gonna want to you're not gonna find a reason to rewatch it again and finally as for my personal opinion I'd give it a 4 because you know it's not one of my favorites but you know I did actually qu watch this quite a lot um, in the past but you know I do also like to revisit this from time to time but it's not something that you know I'd rewatch too often just you know in case you know I randomly find it in googling YouTube so that brings it up to a total score of 16.8, landing it solidly in the A tier, just below Walking with Dinosaurs. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And um, uh, first of all, I do want to apologize for the fact that there wasn't a video on Sunday, which is the day I'm recording this. I've been really busy with other stuff, and I'm still having uh, finished with those stuff. So. I don't know, I just haven't had time, and also I've been, you know, Saturday, yesterday, I guess, as of recording this, when I was supposed to, um, for a video, I just kind of got tired, so didn't end up doing it, and I don't even know what to record, to be honest, because, like, I didn't want to do another Jurassic World in my life, and even if I did, it would be impromptu anyways, so there's not really a lot that has changed, so, um, yeah, uh, but anyways, that's kind of old news now, I guess. Uh, but I have also been really enjoying these shorter uh, documentaries because it gives me more time to do other stuff and it also saves me a lot of time in the editing, which uh, I am very thankful for. So, I, I, I don't know, we're probably going to review one more 3D. I'll give a teaser. We're going to review one more 3D uh, documentary in the next two weeks and then uh, the other, and then next two weeks after that, or I guess a month from now. Uh, I know we'll be back to reviewing random, oh, okay, well, not necessarily random, we'll go back to reviewing uh, non-3D documentaries, so, uh, yeah, I don't want to stretch this out more than I should, so I'll just see you in the next video.